Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft! We are playing Atom Smasher Land Strider's latest space and exploration mod pack, but first, before we do any space and exploration, we need to try and get ourselves a base setup. Yes, indeed, I have been designing this little uh, setup over here for a little while now. I've been using the Schematica mod to try and figure out where it's going to sit in my world. There's also been other things I've been doing. As you can see over here, we've been producing a whole lot of glass and, of course, grabbing myself some black in ink sacks. And in here, we have a bunch of this concrete material. But there are still more materials that I'm missing. If we come for a walk inside here, not only are we missing missing wood for the drawers but they're, they're not my biggest problem you'll see over here we have some wool these are to bring some splash of color and vibrance to the build so I think we need to go and try and find ourselves some sheep now if I pull this up and have a look at the materials over here you can see that we need 158 and 134 of these bad boys so we are legitimately gonna have to make ourselves an actual wool farm let's just turn all these into planks here and then let's come over here and make ourselves a whole bunch of fence posts. Okay, awesome. I'll just grab a whole bunch of those. Maybe I should have made a, uh, a gate as well. Let's just quickly whip one of these up because, of course, we need to go and grab some sheep. Now, what do sheep like to follow you with? Well, that is, of course, wheat over there. We can go and grab that. That is no problem at all. Do I want to put up a pen, a corral beforehand? Yeah, I think I might. Also, I need to uh, do something about that ridiculous amount of wood that I've got growing there. Uh, that should be nice and easy. Just a, just a case of going to uh, cut it all down. No problem whatsoever. Oh, when did this start opening like this? You, you guys see this? You guys see this? When you put two fence posts together, they come open like that? I don't know if that's a modded thing or a Minecraft thing. I, I, I literally have no idea. I haven't tried to test it in Minecraft, so we'll have to find out at some point. Uh, eat myself a little bit of melon as I go and knock myself out some of this wheat here, because of course this is what we need. So let's uh, let's put that in my offhand so they follow me no matter where I go, and also lets us see nicely at a glance how much we are harvesting here. Uh, we should get fairly good returns off of this. We've not got any special like growing medium underneath, and I'm not sure if this pack actually includes a special growing medium to put underneath. Uh, do I have a sword on me? I don't right now. Okay, that's great. It broke when I just hit that last squid back over there. Uh, you guys weren't aware of that though, because that was before I started recording. Okay, hello Mr. Sheepy, how are you doing? Let's see if we can find you a Mrs. Sheepy. Okay, nice, that's good. Um, are you still, hello? Where... Ah, ah, there you are, hi. <laughs> Let's just carry on walking over this way then. Plenty of horses, not too great on the sheep front. We've got three so far, are you guys still following me? Yep, good. Ow, uh, put that away quick before they also walk down here. Don't, don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Um, the glowing mushrooms, though. This is very good that these things are down here. Uh, the main thing that I want, if I come over here and type in uh, lumin, luminos or something like that, lumina block. Th this is this is the thing that I'm working towards at the moment, which needs this luminous powder, which is glass, glowstone, and a glowing mushroom. Should really get myself a nether portal set up at some point. Anyway, this is a uh, quite the cave system here. I don't know if there's anything worth exploring. We'll come and clear this out. I'll probably clear it out on my own. You guys have seen me clear out enough caves now. You don't need to uh, come with me every step of the journey. Although, if you would like to come with me on every step of the journey, do drop the comment down below because I can quite happily just, you know, like last episode, spend an entire episode just collecting sand and gravel. Are you coming with? Are you guys coming with? Are you don't seem to be interested. There we go. All right, awesome. Three? Is three the number that we're going for? Looks like three is indeed the number we've got right now. All right, new life to the world. That is amazing. Are we going to be able to find any more before nightfall, though? I don't think we will. That is a, a distance to go. I'm just looking around also on my uh, my map up there to try and see where we've got concentrations of animals. Maybe. No. No, I was going to say maybe there's a few more up here, but literally all we have are horses. That's pretty good. We're going to have a serious horse situation at so, who put this here? What? What is this? Sunflower plains. Why is there snow here? What? Oh, that, that's really, really, really confusing. Okay, so now that we've gone and got ourselves a few 
do you sheep? We need to try. Oh look, there's a thing over there. There's, there's actual stuff in the forest. The red red dots on my on my radar. If in case you're wondering what I'm talking about, it looks like they're on the the top. Given the fact that when I drop down, they disappear. Yeah. Oh, they they're grey. When I oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. I do not know. Well, anyway, it's night time. I need to go and collect a couple of dyes. I need to get some magenta dye and I need to get some lime green dye. Now, thankfully, when I went over to the desert, I managed to grab myself a little bit of cactus. We've got access to a skelly farm. Uh, we're going to have to do something to actually make that farm worthy. And, of course, magenta is all about red roses, which I um, don't see any around. There, there, there's some. Okay, it took a little bit of searching, but I've managed to find a little bit of everything I need. I thought that was how I did this, but it's not, is it? You put that in there, grab yourself a couple of sticks, doesn't need to be too many. One, two, that should cook that off. Okay, so whilst that's going, I'm also going to pop my poppies in there and go, I want two of those, I want a lapis die, and I also want a bone meal. Brilliant, I'll take four magenta die, thank you very much. And over here, we'll take a green die. We'll pop the green die in with the bone meal, and bam, we'll get ourselves a little bit of lime die. Let's go and have a look at our sheep over here because they should be more than ready to take a little bit of color here hey guys how is it going so let's have a look what what's the what's the color ratio on the side of the building is it more more magenta or more green i can't quite tell let's have a look in here it's ever so slightly more green i suppose the uh, the extra width makes up more than the extra height okay that's fine a little bit more green so let's go oh well, i mean like with these numbers let's just go two green two magenta that seems like a workable solution here and we're definitely gonna have to try to think about how we put these guys in a larger larger space uh you guys might have wondered why there's a little death marker all the way over there well i went looking for more sand and gravel i just went for a little bit of a wonder up and over this way you can see i went quite a bit of distance but all that actually was available was extreme hills biome unfortunately all the way over here i was uh, i was following rivers that that was kind of my, my my grand plan was to follow these rivers and i found this dry river bed here i was like all right we're going to follow it through and as i got down through here there were some drowned in the water and i was like okay i'll just i'll just kind of boat around them uh, as i tried to boat around them one of them caught me i was like that's fine that's just half a heart no problem no problem at all and then i actually drowned above water out of water you know it just gave me the you are underwater oxygen bar marker and uh just slowly killed me which uh was fun was fun
So it turns out getting the ink sacks by far the hardest bit of that particular build there. Thankfully, I've got this little pool here that seems to be quite good at producing me a bunch of squids. And from that, I get the ink sacks. Uh, the, this pack only really has this and wither bones for making black die from. And I don't think I'm quite ready for fighting with a with a bosses, with the skeletons, any withers, any withers at all. This is not what I'm about right now. Uh, right now, in fact, I am all about making myself uh, some sheep and getting on with a little bit of questings. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we've been building for uh, long enough. Let's just push all this out of my inventory for now. In fact, I'm going to keep those there, their stuff I want. If we come over here and type the words carbon in, we can find somewhere along here. Now, this always hides from me because it's just a little stick. There we go. Carbon catalyst. We just need three sticks and four bits of charcoal. This should be a relatively simple to do as I have like an entire drawer full of logs over here. I don't actually know if I've got the uh, got the carbon kicking around, the uh, the charcoal kicking around. I don't know why charcoal just fled me there. That was not the way for it. And I don't even have any spare sticks. That is a little bit of a shame, but all these things can be worked around. Let's just do that and just have some spare sticks kicking about because this is the type of thing that I like to do. Furnaces take time, you know, that is definitely a long thing to wait for here, but thankfully in modded Minecraft such as this, there are normally ways of updating your and speeding up your furnaces, so that's pretty good. Right, the next thing we need to do is go around and go one, we need one of these, two of these. Do I have my shears on me? Yeah, yeah, you, you'll do as well. Three, and then I need one more thing. I'm fairly sure an oak sapling will uh, do, so let's try and get these all on my hot bar now. Where's the oxide daisy gone? It was here a second ago. I left it back over this way. Okay, let's sort this out on my hot bar here. Let's go and find us a patch of water. I, th I think just in here will do, but let's go ahead and throw it down. I'm, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but we'll go one and there, two there, three. Oh, I've got too close. Oh, I've, I've got too close. Thing, things have gone bad. One of those, one of those, and one of those. Okay, that's everything there. Now, I've got most of this, most of the information for doing this. Where did I just spot the stick? There it is. Uh, from doing it, plant, put four top plant, put four plant types into water, and then stir with this to create biomass. So, stir, ba-bang! We've got ourselves some biomass. Oh, wonderful. So, that's these bits done. Now, we need to make peat mog. Peat bog. Slowly turns into the peat deposit when sitting in water. But it doesn't say how to make that. So, I'm going to assume we come in here, we press R on this, uh, put four plant types, no, 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 uh, you then, rather than R. There we go. So, we need a bunch of dirt and four bits of dirt, but biomass to make the peat bog. Now, the the thing I noticed with this is I'm going to end up using all of my biomass so we need to get a whole bunch of new stuff so that we can hand in for the quest because they want us to have the biomass and the peat at the same time so that's going to be a little bit awkward so let's do that quickly now I don't see any reason why not one two three and then an oak sapling as well please can I not just throw one over there turns out not that's not the way to do it okay like that bam more biomass wonderful now I should have a bunch of dirt around in fact I've got a bunch of dirt in my inventory that I was using for scaffolding on the building yeah, that was actually in a little bit short supply during the uh, during the build there. That was a little unfortunate. I had to try and figure out ways of being more efficient with my dirt placement, which is not a thing that I normally have to do. All right, peat bog. Awesome. I would also like to get a bit of water because... I <laughs> Or I could throw the melon in my hand. Seem to be uh, all about the keyboard use today. Uh, let's grab ourselves a little bit of bucket of water and go somewhere over here. Where, where are we going to dig? I, th I think here is probably going to be a good spot to dig. Let's do that. Let's not waste this little bit of grass here. I'd like to keep hold of things like this for more biomass. Now, where's my shovel? It's on the beginning of my hot bar one two three four because that's what we got nice mm -mm. oh let's do let's do this for before i get rid of everything uh it's detected that we have one of everything uh, i'm actually going to go for the basic universal cable today i know normally i go for loot chest but i uh i have a feeling i'm going to need something like this for moving power around after i have finished this particular quest so that's peat bog complete nice down here we have peat power that is the next one that i want to work on to peat fired a generator there is also a let's, let's do this now there is also somewhere out there a machine 
for placing and farming. Let's see if I can, is it this type of peat? This is this type of peat. We've got the peat farmer as well. Look at this. We need uh, two peat fire generators. Wow, what do we need for that? Let's have a look. Ooh, a block of gold, coal, two blocks of coal, some peat fuel. Okay, so we, we really need to get on with this. I'm going to turn this over three or four times, and I'll be back when I have a bunch of coal and uh, maybe go, uh, sorry, a bunch of peat, and then go for mining for coal and find some stuff for that as well. Okay, guys, I've been farming and I have been mining, and we've got ourselves a whole bunch of stuff to. Uh, hang, hang about, let's let's go deal with this. It is raining and it is night time. These are not the best times to go into the world. I can't even get inside. Uh, that, I pressed escape. That was bad. Uh, I can't even get inside my inventory to start looking up stuff whilst I'm in there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's let's get out of here. Feeling a little bit hyped, a little bit good. We are trying to make today, right now, uh, the peak fire generator. In fact, I want to make three of them, okay? So we're going to go about that. Now, we've got some peat fuel there. You can see I've got myself here. Oh, I should have cooked this up. A bunch of peat down here. So let's grab that and this. I'm going to cook this guy up, and then uh, I'll see you through the magic of jump cuts. Or maybe fast forward. I, I don't know what I was going to do there. Okay, so I've got myself a whole bunch of peat there. If we just come up and go peat fire generator, go bing bam should get ourselves a three of those. And more importantly... Oh yes, if we come into the quest, go to the first steps we've got down here, peat power. <laughs> uh, we could get some more base, uh, basic universal cable so configurator. I don't know what that does. We'll have to have a look at that um, before I make the decision here. But let's uh, let's have a look at the next thing that I want to do. Uh, this is a little bit off piste from the from the quests. But I think we can do it. We've got two extra peat fire generators, and I want to make the, a few of these block places here. Now it's just cobblestone. Is that cobblestone? No, that's stone, and these are cobblestone. Okay, so I've, I've got enough going here. So let's cook up four bits of a stone. Let, let's cook up eight. Let's let's go wild. Dispensers really are a long-winded thing to make. Okay, so we've got those. Let's go back over to here. Block placer. Do I have the stuff? We're missing iron and redstone. Well, we've got the redstone. I've got the iron. What am I missing? Ah, of course. Of course. There we go. That should sort out at least one of these. And we can get moved. Ah, oh, brilliant. Two of them. That's even better. So I've got a few bits of gold, but I don't have that many bits of gold. Wait, where's my gold? Ah, I keep my gold downstairs. Now we arrive at a little bit of a problem here, ladies and gentlemen. I've got the gold, I've got the dispensers, I've got just about everything we need. But if I come over to here, we need an observer. And for an observer, we need nether quartz. Now, it actually turns out I need nether quartz for a fair few items, including the tree harvester and stuff like that. So I've come up with a 20 bits of obsidian, but... With that, I'm going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time, where we're going to go build a portal somewhere over, just behind me over there. I think we're going to build a plinth and put the portal on it, take 10 bits of obsidian through, because no doubt we'll join up with someone else's portal, not my own portal. We'll backtrack, we'll put down a portal where mine should be, and we'll have a jolly little adventure in the nether. But I will see you then, when we're going to do that. Bye!